Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're at Lamorna Cove. You might have had a little glance on TripAdvisor and you might see there's a lot of negativity. We wanted to come down and investigate that because a lot of it centres around the car park. So in today's video we're going to give you a guide to how to successfully navigate Le Mourne Car Park. If you're thinking of parking at Le Mourne Cove you need to watch this video. Our channel is usually about walking around Cornwall and recently we visited to film one of our videos. We were very alarmed that some of the comments left on TripAdvisor about the parking at Le Mourne Cove. Total scam. Do not bother. Scandalous. A beautiful place to be scammed. Bring lots of change. And my personal favourite, if the world had piles, it would be here. Le Mourne Cove is at the end of a lush, wooded valley with a gurgling stream that rushes over rounded boulders as it meets the sea. The cove has a small granite quay and a sandy beach at low tide. It is renowned for its beauty and has attracted many artists over the years. Let's take a look at some of those TripAdvisor comments. Simon J writes in September 2022, Sadly, Le Mourne will probably ruin your visit to Cornwall. Avoid, 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 avoid. Car park scammers. He goes on to say this was blatant profiteering. In January 2023, Phil Cole from Helston visited. He writes... Stung with a hefty £170 fine via debt collection agency. As you come into Le Mourne, the road changes from a public highway to a private road. The car parks in the cove are also owned privately. They are monitored by an ANPR camera system that photographs your car registration number as you enter and as you leave. There's two car parks here, isn't it? This is the lower one. I think this is the bigger one. There's another one sort of a little bit yes. further up past the yeah. cafe, isn't it? But this lower one, I mean, I've just roughly counted, I think there's 23 spaces in there. Okay, so summer season, that's going to be full, isn't well, it? I would have thought so, summer season, can be pretty full. Have you figured out where the camera is yet? Um, it's funny you were saying that, I was looking for it and I couldn't find it initially, but I think I have now found it. I think it's on the side of the cafe building. Okay. I've just filmed it, might be wrong. Could yeah. just be a camera just for the cafe, but Might be a security it does camera. look like quite a, a biggish. There's two cameras there, and it looks like it's it's clocking AMPR. Okay, that isn't obvious to my way of thinking, and maybe that's why you don't think in the first place it's an AMPR car park. Perhaps that's why they get you so often. And if that is the case, you can't even actually turn around without your number plate being taken. So this is the secondary car park here at Le Mourne Cove. It's just up past the cafe on the very edge here. It's not even obvious it's a car park really. There's not really any markings on the floor that are obvious. There is a sign over there in the corner though which talks about the car parking charges. It's just up here. There we go. The tariff at this car park is as follows. For an hour it's a pound, two hours two pounds, four hours four pounds then £8 for up to 12 hours and a 24 hour stay is £15. Those rates are probably pretty much in line with other charges in the area for car parking. However, there is a catch. There's no internet signal in Le Mourne. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no internet no signal. signal, no. Which means the machines are cash only. Not only are they cash only, but they are coin only. So just think about it, this means that if you want to stay all afternoon, you'll need £8 in coin for up to 12 hours stay. So a common thread with a lot of the TripAdvisor comments is that people don't have enough cash to put into the machine. Let's just take another look at one of those TripAdvisor comments that we read out the headline for earlier on. It's by Just Being Kurt and it's from August 2022 and they write, make sure you bring lots of change. Whilst there are notices leading up to the car park telling you that it is a private road and the car park is private property, what the notices do not tell you before you enter and AMPR has already clocked you in is that you can only pay for your parking with coins. Yep, no notes, no cards, no contactless, no mobile parking app, coins only folks. With this in mind, we set up a poll on our YouTube channel. Thank you to everybody that answered 
After 15 hours, we had 165 responses and 68% of you were expecting to pay using technology, that's cards, contactless or apps. So this may be of particular relevance to you guys. The guy in the cafe said that there isn't enough signal down in Lamorna Cove to actually take card payments. He's taking card payments, but I guess it's on his Wi-Fi. So the machines can't operate use without a signal and that's why you have to take cash what further compounds that is that they don't take notes they only take coin the maximum size of coin is a two pound coin so unless you've got enough cash in coin it's very difficult to pay in the car park Lamorna Cove car park is run by Initial Parking Limited. It's managed on behalf of the private landowner. According to Initial Parking's website, each car park has its own rules which are negotiated with the landlord. So the terms and conditions for each car park are not on their website. So failure to comply with the terms and conditions of this car park may result in a parking charge, not a fine, but a parking charge of £100. This parking charge notice will be reduced to £60 if paid within 14 days of issue of this notice. If you do not pay your £100 parking charge and it goes to a debt collections agency, then you're looking at £170. The parking rules at Lamorna Car Park are as follows. By entering the car park, you consent to the capturing of photographs of your registration number by AMPR. The parking time is calculated by the AMPR cameras from the point of entry to the point of exit. You must park in designated bays. You must leave within 10 minutes of entering the car park if you decide not to stay, for whatever reason. Rules are that you've got 10 minutes to make up your mind if you're staying. So 10 minutes from the time you enter the car park to realising whether or not you want to stay, have you got the cash? Is that enough time? I think it's pushing it. I think it's, it's doable if you realise that when you park in that car park you've been photographed on AMPR and that you've got enough coin to be able to go to the machine and get your ticket I think 10 minutes is enough time to decide that you want to be in there however if you arrive and you don't know that you've been photographed on AMPR and then you might not have enough coin you might possibly have enough in notes but not enough coinage you might then have to think about having to change some of that money to be able to pay for your car parking so then you might think ah there's a cafe there perhaps I can go in there maybe buy something and get some change that way yeah, and when we were having an ice cream in the cafe, we saw people coming in and asking for change. The cafe explained, yes, there's no Wi-Fi, you need coin, yes, we're happy to change it for you, didn't they, if they bought something? Yeah, yeah, and also, you know, if you go there in the winter or you go slightly out of hours, that car park fee is 24 hours a day. Now, that cafe obviously isn't open 24 hours. No, so you have to get out of there within 10 minutes. And finding that in the terms and conditions, it's hidden. Yeah, so I, I think the 10 minute is, is a difficult one, isn't it? I, I can see why so many people have fallen foul of this. Yeah, I agree. So if you've got anything to add to the rules or your experience about using AMPR successfully, please add it to the comments. To summarise, let's take a look at our tips to successfully park at Lamorna Cove. Just be aware, if you're coming to Lamorna, have enough coin. Make a note of the time you enter the car park. As soon as the AMPR camera takes a photograph of your registration, the clock starts ticking. So it does include all that time you are taking finding coins to put into the car park machine. The parking regulation sign clearly states that you must purchase a ticket for the duration of your stay. You have 10 minutes to make up your mind whether you're staying or not, so make sure that if you go over that 10 minutes, you put at least a pound in that car parking machine. And finally, we would say, if in doubt, overpay. Here is our useful guide to the layout of Lamorna Cove. After the pub, the lane gets very narrow, and as you approach the cove, it's basically single track with passing places. To deter you parking in a passing place, there are signs warning you that you will be fined £100 if you stop there. There are even boulders in other passing places to prevent you parking. Yeah, that boulder prevents you even thinking about parking in this rather small lay-by. Forces you down the road. 
Because the road is so narrow, you're basically forced to park in the car park. You have no alternative. As you enter the cove, it's not clear when you actually enter the car park. There's no indications, no lines on the floor. There are two car parks. The cafe is here and the AMPR cameras are on the cafe. We think they photograph you as soon as you come down the hill. There are two pay machines here. So we've put this video together just to try and help you out. So if you are visiting Lamorna Cove, you know in advance what to expect and it's your decision whether you want to park in this car park or not. We just also like to say that these comments that we've read out are on TripAdvisor. These aren't our own comments. This is what people have already said who have had an experience of using this car park. As I mentioned at the start of this video, we visited with the intention of filming a video for our channel. Our channel is about walking. So look out for that one. If it's not already uploaded, it soon will be. And if you love Cornwall, please consider subscribing. I think car parking on private land is a contentious issue anyway. We're so used to having quite lenient terms with local councils if they own the town car park. They aren't as zealous. And having the ANPR aspect of it means that they can really monitor it. They can leave it to a computer to monitor it. And then you just get this fine issued. And with it being online, it's incredibly difficult and frustrating to actually speak to a person and state your case, which probably adds to all of the frustration. So hopefully this video will help you navigate this car park successfully and not incur a hundred pound fine. to the